What's up guys, Rob Sambles here from Rob Sambles Photography, uh, back again for another video. So today is Friday, uh, the 22nd of September. Busy weekend um, this weekend coming up, I've got quite a lot on. Uh, tomorrow I am shooting some championship football, I'm shooting QPR at home to Burton at Loftus Road. And then Sunday I've got quite a big event, um, I'm shooting the Surrey Hills Challenge, um, it's like a running event, they do 5k, 10k, um, a half marathon, I think they do like a full marathon and an ultra marathon, so loads of different distances, real busy event, I'm going to be working that like 8am till 6pm, something like that. I'm working for Epic Action Images on that one um, to to help cover the event. Um, in fact, I think I'm working alone on that one, so I think I'm the only photographer, and that's um, that that's quite a busy event because there's loads of promo shots and stuff like that. In fact, my plan was um, tomorrow at QPR, I probably won't be able to do too much behind the scenes stuff, um, but I, I intend to on future championship football videos, guys. Don't worry, but tomorrow won't be the best one for me to do that for a couple of reasons. But Sunday, I'm going to document a little bit of that, that kind of event because it's it's quite an interesting one because they get a bit crazy. Those are the events where, you know, I, I have to be at a start line and then I have to drive out to the course, then back to the start line for the next distance, then some promo shots, then out on the course. Uh, again, back for the finish of the 10K, out on the course again, <laughs> back for the finish for the um, the half marathon and the ultra. So really crazy and it'd be quite probably good for you guys to see how some of that works because it, it can get crazy. Anyway, what's been going on in the meantime? So first up, look, I've been doing loads more of these videos, so I decided it was time to maybe start taking my video a bit more seriously. Um, and I have purchased a new microphone for my camera. Currently sat right up there on top of you guys um, on the 7D2. Uh, in fact, let's show you what it looks like. Here you go, guys. You see my setup for my uh, for my YouTube videos. Uh, I'm not going to show you my messy place in the background. Whoa, messy. Um, here's my camera. Got the new mic on the front. Just giving it a go. I'm hoping the sound quality will be a lot better. Um, shooting on my 72 and my uh, my Sigma 1835 here. I use my wider angle sometimes too, so I've got it right there if I need it. But that's the uh, that's the microphone. It's nothing too fancy, guys, the microphone. Just something I picked up on Amazon. I think it was £40, something like that. Um, but hopefully it does the job. I, I've had a bit of a play with it, but this is the first actual video I'm filming with it, so I'll see what the sound quality is like. So what I wanted to talk about today was the um, the prep that I will typically go through before I have an event coming up. So today is a funny one because I'm doing the prep for tomorrow's football game. But I'm also going to be doing um, sort of some of the prep for Sunday because I won't have much time between Saturday and Sunday. So I've got a little bit of prep work to do. But this video is going to be about prepping for the football game tomorrow. I'm going to show you all the different stuff I do, the checks I make, some stuff with gear, some stuff with the programs on the laptop, photo mechanics, stuff like that. And I'm going to show you how all of that stuff works, guys. I hope you're looking forward to seeing it. Let's get into it. As always guys, thank you so much for watching the videos, really appreciate it. The subscribers are growing a little bit, which is really cool. Um, I'm enjoying doing them, hence why I keep on doing it, I suppose. If you haven't already subscribed guys, please do hit that subscribe button down the bottom. Hopefully you get to see loads more videos going forwards and, and I hope you enjoy the content. If you have already subscribed, thank you very much, but don't forget to hit that little notification button down the bottom, it's the bell next to the subscribe button. That will let you know every time I upload a new video. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my other social media channels. I do loads of behind the scenes stuff on there sometimes. Loads of my photos up there as well. I've got my Instagram channel, my Twitter. I'm gonna put those across the screen right now for you guys so you can see them. As always, the top one is my Twitter and Instagram account. The bottom one is just an Instagram account, primarily for basketball, for you guys who are into your basketball photography. Loads of cool stuff on there. Check those out, guys. I'm sure you'll enjoy some of the content. So, in terms of prep, it, the stuff that I will look at is almost in three different phases. Of course, I'm going to look at my gear, um, and I don't just mean pick what gear I'm taking. I mean, like, checks of the gear and charging batteries and stuff like that, which we're going to go through. And then, of course, there is also the uh, preparation for the event itself, and, and that means, like, research for the location, the venue, the stadium, uh, parking, loads of stuff. So we're going to literally go through it, guys. I'm doing it literally today. So as I do it through the course of the morning, I'm going to document it and show you guys how it works. First up, we're going to look at the gear. 
Okay guys, the gear. Um, not a massive selection I suppose, you know, I'm not taking loads of stuff. I'm going to be working fairly, um, well no, not light, but like, you know, I'm not going to have bags, and um, bags, loads of stuff. So I'm going to be using two cameras, Canon 7D2 and of course my other Canon 7D2 which you guys are inside right now watching this video. I'm going to be taking my 70 to 200 and I'm going to be taking my 300mm. I'm also going to be taking my wider angle lens, the one you guys are looking through right now, my Sigma 1835. I don't intend on doing any goal remotes or anything like that for this game. If I did, I would maybe be needing my camera, uh, sorry, my Canon 10mm, but I don't intend on doing that for this game. So the Sigma will be just fine for pre-game shots, um, you know, anything wider, stadium pictures, st stuff like that. Actually, having just said that out loud, I might take my 10mm, my Canon uh, 10 to 22 anyway, because it'd be quite cool to get a real wide angle from inside the stadium, um, which which you can do with, with my Sigma 18mm, but it's a bit better at 10mm, so I probably will actually take that, even though I just told you I wasn't going to. Other stuff I'm going to use, some spare batteries, I will have four batteries, so a battery in each camera and two spares just in case. I've got a whole host of memory cards which I will be taking in my think tank holder and I've got some formatting and stuff to do which I'm going to show you guys in just a minute. So that's the gear guys, I need to get that into a bag. All of this will probably go into one backpack um, and I will also of course have my laptop and stuff in there as well. Okay guys, so the next job is to make sure I've got the stuff safely in the bag. Now, I don't just chuck it in, I check everything as it goes in, and then once it's in, I will kind of double check I've got everything I want. Um, now, I, I literally will go through. I've got my air blower right here, which I will pull out. And as the lenses go in, I will double check them. So let's start with, I've got my brush as well. Let's start with the Sigma. So my Sigma 1835, I literally will just check there's no dust on the top, which actually this one's fine, but just to be safe. There's actually a funny mark on the back of this one, so I'm going to deal with that in just one second. Cool, okay, we're back. So, the funny mark. I will use a very clean cloth, which I only use for this type of stuff just to make sure I've got that off the back, which I have. And then I will get, again, use the air blower just to make sure there is no remnants of any kind of dust or anything, especially on the back of the lens, guys. Why do you not want dust on the back of the lens? Because this is the bit that is going inside the camera right next to the sensor, but that's all good. And I also would just give the inside of the cap a quick go just to check with cool, and bam, that goes on there. I've then got the lid. It's the lid, <laughs> the front cap, and of course the hood. This lens is in and ready to go, and I'll put it in there. Next up, 70 to 200. I will follow the exact same process. I'll speed this one up for you guys, because you guys don't need to watch this second by second. Okay, and the lens is in the bag. Next up, camera body. Obviously right now I can only put one camera body in here because the other camera body is over there with you guys. So camera body, fairly simple. Now I did a sensor um, check or sensor clean on these like yesterday, so I don't need to do that. Normally I would do that. Um, so that's something to bear in mind guys. You won't see me do that right now, but, but I would normally. So there's no battery in this one right now because the battery is charging. Um, but just as an initial point of view, of course, once the batteries are charged, they will go in and they will go into the bag. I will have one in here. I've got my other one, where you guys are, will go in here. And I've got a few other spare bits too. I've got my cleaning kit and stuff like that, of course, we talked about. The only thing we need to do is work out where this bad boy is going to go. And I've also got my laptop going in the back. But we've got some work to do with the laptop before that can go in. Let's worry about this one first. Okay guys, so this one is going to go into a whole bag of its own. Now I have my wheelie case normally, but um, with Loftus Road, I don't know, um, well in fact part of, part of what I'm going to look at, which you guys are going to see, is my travel options for getting there. But it might be with this one I have to park a little way away, so I might be trying to go with two backpacks rather than a wheelie case for, um, for this one. But this lens is going to go into its own bag, so I've actually already got it in two separate bits. This is the main lens itself with like a little um, neoprene cover over the front, which will go straight into the middle of this bag. Gonna need to just adjust the um, foam divider slightly. 
fact, I need to just take this out for a minute just to make sure I get this right. Because I need to make it wider down the middle. Oh, there we go. That's going to slot down there. Perfect. And then I've also got the lens hood itself, which now what I'm going to do is I kind of tuck it into the top up here like this. So that's firmly down there. You guys can see now I've got the lens and the hood all down the middle. This sits towards the bottom. I put some extra padding in here. I've got loads of space in here, guys, but I'm probably not going to need that for much else tomorrow, really. This will just be a bag just for carrying this lens. And that will go in there. Okay, so one of the other things I'm going to do is make sure my memory cards are ready. Now I have uh, this think tank holder with memory cards all the way down both sides. You can see I've got CF cards, I've got all my SD cards down the bottom here. Now what I will do is, I, I'm very fickle with this, right? I will have the right hand side down here will all be memory cards for one camera body, this camera body specifically, and this one down this side will all be memory cards for my other camera body, the camera which I'm filming this with right now. Now I will go through and I will format all this card so that all of these ones are formatted to the camera I'm using and all these ones here are formatted to this camera body. I'm a big believer to format the cards to the camera you're going to use and I reformat every single time. So I literally, you guys can see here on the menu, I will go across to the format which is over here somewhere, here we go. There are two memory cards in this camera already. I will format one and I will format two. I then will just move this away from that format button just in case there's any risk of me somehow accidentally reformatting those cards. I will do the same guys. I'll go through and do that with all these cards right here. Here we go guys. So I'll just be making sure that the camera is, oh, I lost it. Here we go. I'll just be making sure that the camera is set up properly. I'll be shooting in manual mode, um, 800th of a second I'll be using primarily. I'll be shooting in um, obviously the multi-frame, like the high speed uh, multi-frame. I'll servo mode focus, back button focus, which I use all the time. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video too. Um, that's the camera settings guys, pretty much ready to go. Next big important task is charging batteries. We've all been here before, hey? So jokes aside guys, I do of course always um, charge all my batteries. So I will put all four of the batteries in there one at a time and I will just let them run through. Before you guys comment, I don't have a multi-charger. When I do have two chargers, I've got two. So I'll be charging two batteries at a time and then I'll switch them over. That's cool for me because I've got the time to do it. I will always make sure all four batteries, both the ones in the cameras and the spares are fully charged. Okay guys, and can't forget the accessories. So of course the memory cards, which I've all done, they're all formatted down each side, exactly like I said, the missing ones are in the cameras. This of course needs to go in here as well. I've got my two spare batteries, which are lurking here somewhere. They're here. Two spare batteries, these ones are already charged, those will go in there as well. That's the first bag done. Of course, the only thing missing here is my second camera body and my um, Canon 10 to 22 mil, um, which actually, that's just my sunglasses, will go in here. Um, bump, bump, but right now I'm using those to film, so those two will go in there. Okay. Okay guys, so another thing that I would always want to look up is the weather, so I know what I'm dealing with. Shepherd's Bush, those of you guys who know Shepherd's Bush is right by Loftus Road, that's where I've looked up. It looks nice tomorrow, it looks good, um, there's a little bit of rain or grimmer weather in the morning, afterwards looks okay, so I think it's a fairly safe bet that I won't get wet, which is great because you guys have heard me say it before, I hate shooting in the rain, um, but nonetheless I'm going to take my rain cover um, just in case and a waterproof jacket for myself, which are going to go into this section of this backpack, um, so I have those just in case for worst case scenario. Okay guys, so the other section I need to do is getting sure I've got a lot of stuff ready for my laptop, or ready on my laptop. A few bits to that, first of all I've got to make sure it's charged, which I'm doing right now whilst I'm filming this part of the video. The other thing I need to do is make sure I get my photo mechanic ready. Now I've said I'm going to do a whole other video on photo mechanics, I won't go through every detail of this right now, but the first thing I need to do is make sure that all of the... Um, metadata is in photo mechanic ready to go which I will get from an XMP file which my agent sends me or my sport my photo agency sends me I mean so I can just upload that up and that will have all the detail of the game and everything ready to go the other thing I need to do is make sure that all of my keywords are done 
and I have a file with the keywords, which is all the names of um, the players from both the two teams. I, I will use like QPR's website and, um, and the data that my agency gives me to get most of that information. I will still tomorrow at the game have to check the team sheet just in case anything has changed. But what that does, it means I've got a head start. It turns it into a two to five minute job instead of a 15 minute job having to type out every single individual player's name tomorrow when I get there. Okay guys, so one of the things I'm doing um, is to create a keyword sheet where I've got all the players' names um, and the shortcut codes for photo mechanic. Some of you guys might not understand what this is about. Don't worry, I will do a whole video on this. In fact, you probably can't see it on the camera, so let me, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna move the camera slightly. Here we go guys, so this is basically a list of all the players and the shortcut codes that I use on the left. You can see the cues, because what I need to do there is fill in the QPR's players' names. Now, all of this will be on the team sheet, but of course the other thing that I can do um, is to go to the QPR website, which I've already opened over here on this page, and I can go through and I can fill in all the names. So for example, we have um, Alex Smithies, goalkeeper number one, Joe Lumley, goalkeeper number 26, and I can use this to go through and fill in all of the players um, names onto my cheat sheet so I'm gonna do that right now okay guys um, it's a bit later in the day sorry the change of t-shirt and change of lights and stuff I popped out and did a couple of bits so we're later in the day we've got it all good to go um, the accessories are in like you saw the laptop stuff is all done the laptop is going in the back right here in the laptop section surprisingly enough I've got my laptop accessories and um, by that I mean I've got my two memory card readers I've got one and I've got number two as well um, is my other one uh, the Lexar one you guys saw that in my photography accessories video check that one out if you haven't watched it already because it's a good one don't go right now though I will put a link to that video at the end of this one I also just need to make sure I've got my oh you know what I haven't got my lock I tell you what I will get my lock. I'm gonna get it right now. There we go, got my lock. So this is really useful. Of course, this is the lock that I will use if I leave my laptop in the media room or anywhere like that. I can lock it to something. I actually probably won't need this because I think my laptop is gonna be out on the pitch side with me. Having looked at the weather, it looks okay. So that will go in there too. So that just leaves us to say, we are all done. All the gear is in the bag. The 300 mil lens is in the other bag that you guys saw. I've got my little stool, which I'll take. My monopod will attach on the side of here. I know what the weather's gonna be. I've got some plans with parking and stuff. Uh, that's something else I've done today, guys, really important. I googled Loftus Road and actually went onto a website, a lot of you guys will know it, um, talkphotography.co.uk. I'll, I'll put a link on the screen just in case anyone doesn't quite hear my pronunciation for that one. Real good website. There were some chats on there. I just searched Loftus Road on the website. There were some threads came up where people have been talking about, you know, where's good to park and where can you sit and stuff like that. Really valuable exercise to do every time you go into a new venue. I do that every time. Really, really important. So if you enjoyed the video at any point along the way, please do hit that like button. Give me that thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it means a lot more to me than you probably realise. I hope you found the video useful. I hope you found it interesting to see how I prepared for the event today. Really looking forward to it tomorrow to shoot that Skybet Championship game QPR against Burton Albion. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.